All right, so in this video, you're gonna learn exactly what I have learned over the last like two years of my drumming. And not only that, I'll be also showing you actionable steps that you can literally take right now, which will significantly improve your drumming. Let's just jump right into the video. So um, I'm in my garden right now. I, I don't know why I'm recording in my garden, but like I thought it would be interesting. So uh, here it is. So yeah the first thing i learned is that it takes time for you to learn things on drums there is a there's a massive bee over there holy crap okay so i'm gonna tell you a story of this actually when i was taking drum lessons dude like my teacher would give me like these exercises and i i remember in particular once he was teaching me like shuffles on drums and i was like okay this is cool yeah oh my god my <sighs> sorry <laughs> my feet are just effed right now okay dude like my teacher gave me this thing to learn and i, I just learned it but then i would be like okay what if i've learned like the purdy shuffle right i don't know why like i decided to impress my teacher by learning it because i we were learning shuffles so i tried to learn the purdy shuffle in like i don't know two days or something like before our next lesson okay i have been caught recording yeah like it was so bad like dude when i learned it like i've quote unquote learned the purdy shuffle and i presented it to my teacher it was like an embarrassing moment where i couldn't really play the purdy shuffle and then he was like oh you mean to play this like and then he plays it like flawlessly and then i just feel really really sad and i couldn't impress my teacher but that's a lesson i guess and let's move on to the next thing all right i came from outside uh my neighbors were looking at me strange so um and i decided to record this entire video in my kitchen now because i, I thought it would make it interesting i don't know so the next thing i have learned is that there is no easy shortcut for faster hand speed now i know this sounds like very obvious right like obviously you can't have faster hands in three days right right well, apparently not, because a lot of beginners, what they do, including me, by the way, like, I'm guilty of this. What we would do is, this is kind of embarrassing, but I, like, search up, like, videos of how to get faster hand speed. And I'd watch those videos and be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I wouldn't apply the tips or anything. But the truth was, was that we always search for, like, an easy shortcut or like a, I guess like the easy path to something, but like, it's not always that way. In fact, like most of the time, it's just the hardest things that make you the best at drums. It's really just like you have to practice over and over and over again. Like this isn't something that you can have like magically in a week or something, but it rather takes time to actually have faster hands like bro you want to know when i actually got faster hands like it wasn't when i was searching on youtube how to get faster hands it was when i didn't even care about getting faster hands anymore and like i just didn't care about faster hands anymore and you don't need to have faster hands bro like if you look at the top drummers that don't have like the fastest hands you know what they do they literally just play a groove so nicely and cleanly that they make you want to bust you know oh my god there's a fucking fly there get get off there's a fly okay well let's just accept that fly all right so the third thing i've learned is that messing up isn't really a big deal like i've been drumming for two years right and like it's just become a thing now like messing up isn't really that important and you shouldn't take it important as well because i feel like when i was starting out i was just constantly like messing up oh my god this fly is gonna bro get the hell out jesus christ makes me want to kill it even more all right so as i was saying like messing up isn't a big deal since you know like when i was starting out it would fuck my mind up 
because like genuinely that's how i can describe it because the thing is like when you mess up your ego gets crushed right and when your ego gets crushed that feeling is terrible and i would have it constantly because i'd mess up mess up mess up but then over time i've actually learned that it's okay to actually mess up and not be so perfectionistic with drumming like bro you're not a robot like have you ever completed the caption or like the thing that says like i'm not a robot well you are not a robot bro and so you cannot drum like a robot it would be really unreasonable for you to not mess up right because think about this i've kind of taken inspiration from alex ramosi here he's a really good businessman i guess i could call it and um he he said like be so good it would be unreasonable for you to suck and i'd reverse it and go like it would be really really reasonable for you to suck at this stage of your drumming because you're learning it like you're not just gonna you know in the first day you're not just gonna go like you know like you have to learn it and gradually increase it i think practicing your rudiments is one of the most underrated things your rudiments is a very high leverage thing so a leverage is basically if you don't know the difference between your inputs and the outputs so essentially it's like the thing that gets the most bang for your buck and i talk about this in my ebook that's coming out soon so uh, yeah when it's gonna be released i'm gonna announce it on my community post probably and i talk about it in detail but there's a fucking fly why are you doing this to me fly i'm gonna kill you once i finish recording this video so yeah leverage is basically like what gets you the most bang for your buck so essentially it's like if i put one effort in i get like 10 output so if you learn a new rudiment for example you're gonna have the benefit for the rest of your drumming right say you learned paradiddles today and it sucked today it was so boring but then like imagine you actually like playing the paradiddles 10 years into your drumming journey like that's how powerful practicing your rudiments actually are and i don't know if you're listening to me right now because when i was starting dude like i kid you not i literally sat down on my drum set and i i just literally played along songs or i played along to things my drum teacher taught me which i guess there were also rudiments but like dude if you are a self-taught drummer right now like rudiments should be one of the top priorities boom like it's just like one of the most important things in your drumming period as an actionable step that you can do right now i recommend you literally just close this video i don't even care if you watch the rest of this video close this video and go literally just practice your rudiments for five minutes and then come back if you want to watch the rest of the video all right so this was a very early lesson that i had and i feel like e-drum users will probably like comment <laughs> below and say like oh no you're shitting on e-drums but yeah i think it would be more reasonable for you to buy acoustic drums rather than e-drums when starting because i've experienced both e-drums and acoustic drums when starting and definitely i think you should absolutely 100 percent go to acoustic drums and i'll talk about this on my ebook as well if you want more details about this and how to pick your drums and stuff but essentially if you have the budget just go with acoustic drums because i feel like it it is really really hard hard to switch from electronic to acoustic drums plus electronic drums actually like make you sound better and it's easier to play than acoustic drums but also like acoustic drums just have a better sound a better feel and all of those things like it's just if you have to choose between an acoustic and e-drum right now 100 percent go the acoustic way like no doubts and you can trust me because i have literally experienced both e-drums and acoustic drums
So this is a new tip that I've actually discovered recently and I feel like so many of us are rushing because we get excited, right? So for example, let's say you're playing to a song on drums and you're like, okay, now this fill is coming, oh yeah, okay, mm. and then you mess up the fill, not because you didn't learn the fill very well, but you got super like excited to play the fill and that's why you actually messed up. And so to prevent this, what I did was I literally just learned the fill better. And I think there's a really, really good advice about presentation. And I think my mom told me this. When you study the presentation over and over and over again, you get less excited. And so you perform better. I've actually said this advice to my first client, to my coaching, Adam. And he was like, I guess he was getting excited or something. I don't know how I got to that point. I told him like, why do we get excited, right? Well, we get excited because we're gonna try a new thing and we're gonna do a new thing. We mess up the fill, not because of our like, ability to play the fill but rather too much excitement for playing the fill and so we get excited to do a new thing so if we do it over and over and over again it becomes an old thing and it becomes a thing we can comfortably do and that's when you don't get excited to play fills and that's when you actually can comfortably play it all right so my last tip over these two years of my drumming is to not get discouraged by social media drummers. Now, I've talked about this in my how social media is killing your drumming or something like that video. You can check it out. It's somewhere here, but I want to summarize it. So basically, right, we have this social media like YouTube in Instagram and stuff where people can actually post their cool drum chops and fills and I'm not really hating on those people. They should do that. But my concern is that if you aren't a well experienced drummer, I would say to not really look at those drummers because our brain has this little ranking system inside of it. And what's so interesting about this ranking system is that social media actually ruins this ranking system because whenever you see like a cool drummer just doing a, a cool fill on like instagram or something and you're just like looking at it like wow dude i wish i could do that and then you know, once you sit on your drum set and try to play it you're like Oh fuck, <laughs> I forgot how inexperienced I was in drums and I thought I was a drummer with 12 years of experience, right? Every time you look at some cool social media drummer, your brain ranks itself one below. And so if you keep looking at, you know, these cool drummers that are cooler than you, that have nicer chops than you, that have cooler fills that have cooler whatevers than you then your brain will like rank itself like one below every single time until you reach rock bottom and you know you want to give up drums so whenever you look at a cooler drummer consciously realize that your brain is kind of ranking itself one below while you're looking at the drummer and then just say to yourself like okay he has 12 years of experience and you know his job is to be a drummer and he has dedicated his life to be a drummer and hence he is better than me at drums and if you can say this to yourself then i think you won't really get discouraged that much while looking at other drummers on social media i hope you took something from this reasonably large video and i just want to mention quickly that I do have a coaching and if you are really, you know, 
a self-taught drummer who is a beginner to intermediate drummer and is looking for advice like this which i've shared in this video right now which i'm probably guessing you're interested in it since you watched like the whole video then i recommend you buy my coaching and i admit it it is very very expensive i put like 400 dollars worth my time into it so i think it's a very very good investment if you're actually looking for a drum coach who understands your struggles and doesn't do boring stuff so yeah all right i'll see you in the next video peace